Hey guys, it's a GI Skating Sock here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Kinex Double Doom Roller Coaster. And you can find this set for 60, about $65 at Toys R Us, and you can obviously order online at different spots. So, this set has 891 pieces, and for the motor you're going to need two AA batteries. And um, I'll show you the back of the box, and then we'll get started. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's called the Double Doom Roller Coaster Building Set. So it's over two and a half feet tall, and here's just another look at it. And um, also over here is an alternate build. So if you get bored of having it like this, you can build it that way with the exact same pieces, which I think is kind of cool to include. But you have to um, get that instructions online. So let's show you the actual roller coaster. So here is just an overview of the roller coaster. The build that shows you on the map what it looks like built and obviously you see the double car the motor is at the top on the other side and it runs on this track so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and show you how it works. So as you can see the um, car didn't quite make it back to the lift. And I think the problem is about right here, so I'm going to go ahead and try to fix that. And then I'll try it again. So the problem was I was hanging this yellow piece right here, which was slowing it down. But now I fixed that by reconnecting that point. So if anything goes wrong, you just want to make sure to um, make sure all your connections are connected properly. So let's try this again. Yeah, it worked. This is just the last view that I'm going to show you. It's actually fun. So yeah, this is the roller coaster. Now I'm going to talk about how easy it is to build and how long it took me to build. So this roller coaster, I'm estimating, probably took three to four hours, maybe a little bit more, for me to completely build it. And um, this is like only the second one I've ever built, and the other one was a long time ago. So I think. That's a pretty good amount of time. It doesn't take quite too long. Um, and another thing is, the hardest part, I think, about building it is, one, putting the chain together. Because you have to individually connect all those pieces. And the second part, which I find really difficult, is you kind of have to force these yellow pieces onto the gray pieces. And that took more force than I had. So I had to like, use the ground to push it on the ground. In order to connect those. But other than that, all these other connections are fairly simple. So, um, yeah. I would definitely recommend getting this. Um, it's kind of pricey, but, um, I think it's good quality and worth it, and most of the parts are made in the United States, so that's good. And I'm going to show you one last clip of the instruction booklet so you have an idea of what the instructions look like and how easy they are to follow. So here it is. It's pretty thick. Probably, like, I don't know, an eighth of an inch, which is kind of thick. And this just shows a contents of all the pieces you need and stuff. And I'm not going to go through this whole thing, obviously. But, like, you can kind of see that there's a lot of steps in one step. So sometimes it can be kind of difficult to follow. But um, just stick with it and it, it'll all make sense. And if anything else, there's probably a YouTube video that explains it and whenever I got stuck at a spot I just um I looked at it I looked at the picture on the box which showed me the picture so I hope you enjoyed this review um I probably will not be doing any of these soon until I buy another one or I get another one so um which is the same thing um anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and see you next time